Yo guys, what is up? It is your favorite Mindman Panga. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I tried to do the intro, but what the hell is this, dude? How did they even get up there? L literally, how? The only thing I could imagine is that they went Phantom Kit and took off their armor, but... Okay. Anyways, yo guys, what is up? It is your favorite Mindman Pango, and today we are back with another episode on Lunar Soup. I really don't know what's up with this. It's honestly throwing off my intro so much. But anyways, guys, today we are going to be doing just a normal video. We're going to be using, like, honestly, whatever kit we feel like. I, I think I might do the ninja kit because I really like the ninja kit. I like a lot of the speed two kits right now. I sort of like go in between the PVP kit and then any kit with speed two because like, I don't know, my playstyle really varies a lot and uh, I'm a really inconsistent PVP -er. But Anyways, guys, we're going to be doing that. Also, you guys hit like so many likes on the last video and as promised i'm gonna do a giveaway so go ahead comment your ign on this video like the video subscribe notification and you will be entered into the giveaway if i'm being honest you just have to comment because that's how the that's how the giveaway picker site works but uh you should do the other stuff anyways and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video i think i'm gonna start off with ninja maybe i'll go into palioxys or chemist later or something i don't really know we might actually try out like some other kits as well like monk kit although i really don't like that kit and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let's get into the pvp oh okay you're you're being very rude right now but anyways guys in our last video i said that i would actually continue my last kill streak i kind of lied about that my kill streak wasn't i think my kill streak was a little bit higher last video and uh the reason why it's so much lower this time is because i actually got that kill streak to like 200 and then i was like okay cool let's start recording now i'll start at 200 because i was just playing with some friends anyway so i was like yeah let's just like let's start recording now because like I, my friends had gotten off and i was like all right good time for a video right so anyways guys i basically launched obs and i'm like all right it's 2 a.m my friends are all offline i can't sleep let's start recording a video basically guys when i tried to record that video i got crit out while i was launching my obs which honestly that's that's really on me because who the heck doesn't go to spawn or something first okay what did you just do sir you just like got way better out of nowhere and uh i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to sweat on this guy hold up boys the commentary is gonna pause for a second also this is my first like fight of today really i mean the other people were fighting here technically but all right there we go we had to we had to try a little bit harder than usual there my strafes weren't on point my aim was all scuffed and uh, this guy's gonna actually jump us and don't really know what the heck he was doing there because now he's just running okay guys i genuinely am so confused about this and you know guys i believe it or not i'm not a perfect human being um so many people on soup they'll see me like rage and stuff when i die on like a super high kill streak and uh you know guys it is frustrating like it's really frustrating dying to like something stupid i already fucked oh what the dude i'm lag i just lagged out and died bro what the Again? Huh? Okay, no. Dude, I just... The, what the proxy lost connection to the server? What the, but one of the things I'll never understand about this server is one, the people like Dark Cookie who double stomp and then they talk crap on you when they're literally abusing a bug to kill you. I really just don't get that. Two, the people who go and dwarf and just knock people off of the towers. I don't understand that. I mean, I guess I do if it's for money. And honestly, I used to do it, but I was an idiot, so... Like, I just thought it was funny, and maybe that's what they think too. And then guys, another thing I'll never understand is the people who like vampire blast and just get kills like that, but there's also some people who literally go in PvP kit and they just start running into random fights and jumping people from behind. And uh, basically guys, when you do a jump crit with the PvP kit, you could do like half health depending on the person's armor. And so it's like really OP, and I just do not understand it at all. But um, a lot of people do it, and it gets me really triggered when I die and stuff. So a lot of people will say in chat, like, like, oh my god pango you're so like you're so fake you know like in your videos you're like so different compared to like in chat and uh, honestly guys my response to that is just i am a human being i rage a lot if i die to something stupid that i don't like or just something like that like i i will rage and i will get mad about it but then like you know 30 minutes later i'll be like okay it's just a game and then i'll calm down i'll stop being down bad basically it's, it's really just part of the game i mean if you play any game you're destined to rage at least once i mean unless you just really do not care honestly guys that's what i'm that's what i'm hoping to achieve at some point in my life just like the ability to not care about video games at all but still have fun playing them but i don't know it's like when you put a lot of hard work and time into something you're, you're destined to gain like a little bit of feelings towards it but anyways guys i mean i am trying my best to work on it i'm trying to not rage as much and honestly it's really hard especially because like i don't know if you guys knew this but i was in esports and so i played valorant for my school i've said it on the channel before but i know there's a lot of new subscribers and stuff in valorant there's a gun called the odin and uh when you when you play a lot of games you see a lot of odins and 
and uh, it really just, it, it'll make you mad, guys, I swear. Like, you could play any game, think you've dealt with the worst, and then you go into Valorant and you see Noden. Anyways, guys, it's kind of crazy, because I'm pretty sure that I, like, never raged at video games before I started playing, like, FPSs, like Valorant, CSGO, and all of those games, basically. Okay, what on earth? Am I getting 2v1 right now? I literally am. Okay, that's fun. Let's go ahead and tank this out for a second. Wait until there's a little opening for us to combo, like right now, where we're only down two hearts and we have a full hot bar of soups. Whoa, okay, wait, this guy's actually pretty good, but yeah, there we go. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, like I was saying, like, I feel like I didn't rage at video games at all until I started playing those FPSs. The basic reason why anyone rages is because they die to something stupid, but they know that they could have won if they were just like a little bit better, or, like they played the situation a little bit better. And uh, that's pretty much how I feel whenever I like die in Minecraft too. I think it's just like transferred over to this game. Although a lot of people don't usually rage at Minecraft. It, it does, it does happen guys. I am human. Okay, wait, whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting to get ganked out by this, but uh... This guy just Eskimo blasted me. We're gonna Ninja Star, we're gonna hit a bush, and it's gonna completely ricochet the bullet. So, uh, this guy's literally refilling so much, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure he's refilled like six times in the time that I've been fighting him. There we go, we Ninja Starred him. We're gonna go ahead and get these crits right now. This guy really does not want to die for some reason. I mean, I don't blame him. If he's on a kill streak, I'll leave him alone, but I don't think he is. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we broke his helmet. Yeah, it's over for you, dude. Even if you have strength too, you have no helmet, and uh, yeah, you're pretty much dead here, I think. Okay, we bought a repair all and we bought a super refill because this guy's sign refilled, so it's only fair. And, uh, yeah, this guy should be dead soon. Unfortunately, we have no ninja shurikens left, so, uh, it's gonna be pretty hard to kill him because this guy keeps running and refilling, but it's still gonna be possible for sure. I feel like I'm gonna end up getting 2v1 or something because that's usually how things go. Yup, and what do you know, a vampire blast right on cue. Literally, guys, like, I swear, every single time that I try to, like, kill someone like this, I just get hit from the back or something. And his leggings actually broke? I don't know why his leggings broke before his boots. Okay, yeah, this guy's dead. He has no- he only has a chest plate. And, uh, yeah, this dude's- this dude's dead. He has no armor. If this guy manages to kill me somehow, he's actually the best player in this game. I do not care what you guys say. If this guy manages to kill me, he is somehow the best player in the game. And I feel like he's gonna end up killing himself on, like, a sponge or something, just so I don't get the kill. That's pretty common. A lot of people do that. Okay. I mean, he's gonna try to get away, but it doesn't last that long. Like, he's still gonna be combat tagged. And, uh, yeah, there we go. We managed to kill him. We're getting ganked out by his friend, so that's pretty unfortunate. You know, guys, I hate the fact that I was panicking in that fight. I know that guy, and he plays the server a lot, so I didn't know his skill level. I knew he could have been a little bit better, and he honestly was pretty good at the game. You know, I'll give him that. I just, I sort of caught him when his armor was low. Or I made his armor low. I don't know. I think I did, because my armor was pretty low as well. This guy's just gonna keep ganking me out in the dwarf kit. Come on, bro. Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna end up killing me. This is such a lethal kit, or it's such a non-lethal kit. And he's gonna be running now, and... Uh, yeah, we killed him before he could sponge blast up. Good fight to you, dude. Anyways, guys, so yeah, I am working on my, like, little baby rages. I mean, honestly, if I ever rage at you guys, don't think much of it. I usually end up sending an apology to the person I rage to, if I have them on, like, Discord or anything, but, uh, you know, for the people I don't, if I rage at you ever, I am sorry. All right, guys, so we actually changed up our disguise and our kit, and we've been fighting this guy for a long time. I got so unlucky. He ran into the water, and he literally turned around and hit me, and I got stuck in the water for, like, 10 years, because, uh, that's just, that's just how water works. Anyways, so we're gonna be fighting Conservato, and, uh, we are now in the chemist kit. I think I already said that, but we changed our disguise, we changed our kit, and, uh, for the first time in forever, guys, I'm using more than one kit in a video, so, uh, if we can get a like for that, that'd be great. All right, guys, so we're gonna go for Wellcaster now, but another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is I actually am sort of trying I mean I've I've made like a few tweets about it but I really want the skin for the soup NPC in the hub to get changed for my to my skin because like right now it's a soldier which you know you know guys a soldier is pretty cool like you know all the suit players we are in fact like warriors we're like the best players in the game obviously but basically guys right now it's a soldier and like that's cool and all but I think that my skin would be a little bit cooler also I'm like one of the only soup youtubers aside from like Marcel Avery did a few streams on here so honestly if they change it to Avery's skin I'd, I'd be fine with that too honestly because that that dude he he definitely helped with it and uh yeah that's pretty much it's mainly just us three who are like doing doing stuff for soup and you know honestly guys i was really worried that soup was going to shut down for a little bit before i started uploading consistently on it and like i started actually putting time and effort into my videos the server was only getting like 10 players and like when i started uploading it went to like 30 or 50 you know guys that's that's really insignificant now that i think about it compared to what we have now but i i tried my best to help the server i really enjoy it and honestly i see so much potential in soup like i really think that this community could come back also what the heck just happened this guy just like i just missed all my hits on him by doing 360s and stuff that was so bad 
Okay, there we go. We accidentally spammed two damage pots, but we got the kill, so it's it, it's good. We're chilling. All right, guys, this fiber duck guy tried ganking me out while I was fighting someone. I don't really appreciate that. As you guys know, I do not usually appreciate that sort of thing. Dude, okay, that's the other guy I was fighting. I guess I got myself into like a little team situation. I don't really know. We're going to be going for fiber duck. He seems like he'll drop a lot faster. I don't think he has any soups in his hopper. Oh, you don't. No, you're not going to get up there. And uh, yeah, I'll chase you up the ladder, dude. Don't think I won't. This is the other guy, his teammate. So we're going to have to be a little bit cautious, play a little defensive right now because we are obviously getting jumped and we didn't have that many soups in our hot bar and uh there we go that is how to take a 2v1 as the chemist kit honestly guys okay a lot of people will complain a lot about getting 2v1 i mean i know even i complain about getting 2v1 like it's very common and it's very annoying are you going for me okay you are but anyways guys my best advice for when you're getting 2v1 is focus the guy that you think is worse at the game because they'll tend to drop first so you drop them and then you pick up all of their soups and then you do better also i just threw out a damage pot you know guys i've had that piece of advice in my mind for a long time because uh basically when i started soup pvp way back in the day like when i first got into minecraft basically i met my first internet friend jazz she she helped me a lot with pvp because she used to be better than me i'm better than her now but uh at the time she was better than me she was my first internet friend we met from a townie server but she got me onto the server called cowcraft and i started doing suit pvp there i would always get 2v1 and so she told me to do that every time i got in a 2v1 and uh that's what i've been doing ever since like ever since i started pvping and there was a time a few months back where i actually wasn't doing that like i would get into pvp fights and then I would just I would just start running whenever it was a 2v1 or a 3v1 or whatever but you know I just started focusing the worst one and they kept dropping and the the truth was actually true dude because like yeah they just they drop and then you could you could kill the one, other one after or they'll get scared and then they'll try to truce with you like this guy shout out to Jazz she's probably not watching this cuz uh, I don't think she really watches Minecraft videos but um yeah you you kind of you kind of helped my career out Jazz shout out to you this guy's going to be running a lot Come on, dude. I know I could drop you with a damage pot. Well, if I actually hit it, what the heck was that? All right, guys, we've been chasing this drink guy for a while, but after I was talking about, like, how I've been doing worse with Chemist... Oh, finally. Look at how low I got that dude on soups, and he didn't make me soup once. That's actually kind of crazy. I think that the reason why I'm doing so much worse in Chemist is because I used to W-tap and S-tap a lot, which is good for, like, throwing the potions in a straight line. But uh, now I strafe a lot more. Like, I'm kind of reverting back to my old PvP style, honestly. But, like, with better aim. No, do not 2v1 the YouTuber. We don't support this. No. Bad. Bad. Bad nasa noob. Get over here. Okay, I actually almost just died right there because my soups didn't register for some reason. Okay, I've been chasing you for a while, dude. You're gonna have to die and f or fight me, at least, and maybe kill me eventually. Okay, so he didn't kill me, but he did manage to fight... Mario, you are one scumbag, dude. You really just tried to jump me with silverfish. By the way, guys, Mario's my friend. That's why I said that. Hey, fake AFK trick. Okay, it worked a little too well today. We got we got two people on us. Okay, but the other guy backed off. Literally, guys, like, a lot of my fights have just been me fighting someone and getting ganked in the back. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much why I don't usually record at this time. I mean, I shouldn't be recording at, like, 1 a.m., but look, guys, literally, I got one kill, and I just... I get jumped by some random dude. Okay, we're gonna go for Nejosef. Honestly, I haven't really been paying attention to names in today's video, guys. Like, I've literally just been fighting whoever. Now, that's probably not the best thing, because as previously said in, like, every single video I've made in the past, like, year, I don't like fighting the same people over and over again. Also, I'm getting crit in the back really hard by some dude. And this guy might actually get the kill on us, because, uh, yeah, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm actually insane, guys, but I'm literally just getting crit out by some randoms. Good fight to you, Tanner. Oh, he used all his soups in that fight. Wait, what? Okay, I, I definitely cut that fight down because it was a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but he literally dropped zero soups. So this guy went through his whole soup while I went through, like, a few. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope it's, like, the normal length, although I didn't actually record... 50 kills. I think I recorded like 43 or something. I don't really know. I'm not good at math. But uh, yeah, I hope you did all enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you're new. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys back in the next episode. But until then, peace out.